Hey everyone, this is Squall Snake, editor in chief of MyGamer.com, and today I am playing Wave Tail, and I'm gonna jump right in where I left off. MyGamer.com, SquallSnake.com, and on Twitter at Zach Gaz, Z A C K G A Z. Been playing this game for a little bit. Came out at the time of the stream yesterday, I think it was the official launch date. But I got it early, so I was playing it a little bit early, and I think I'm at the end of the game, or like pretty, pretty close to the end of the game. So, I'm not sure. So I'm not sure if maybe I'll beat it on the stream here. But anyway, you play as this girl in this land that has been flooded. And what's awesome is you have this ability to just skate on top of the water. And it's just this really fluid, fun animation. It's this whimsical world. And you have to collect these sparks. The ultimate goal is to kind of collect these sparks that power lighthouses to push the gloom away. Gloom is just this black, inky stuff that obviously just looks bad. You don't want to do it. And you have this net that you can attack with X like this. Or you can hit the right bumper and you could swing kind of like Spider-Man. And then you get these double jumps, and then you could do all sorts of crazy stuff. So this game is big on movement and traversal. It kind of, kind of reminds me of Wind, Wind Waker, but just like faster paced and like just having all these abilities. Like you can just like look at this. You could do this cool floating move, and then you land on the water, and then you could just run on the water and do this like gliding surfing thing. It just feels really good. It looks really good in my opinion. The story is pretty cool. You have this grandma who doesn't take, you know, you know, S from anybody, right? So, voice acting's pretty good, and I like it. The, the combat, there's really nothing to the combat. It's really just button mash, you know, XX. Everybody kind of dies in two hits. So, the, there is definitely not a focus on combat, but I kind of don't care because the rest of the game is so much fun. The music too, it, uh, not really, you can't really pick it up in the stream because I kind of turned it down a little bit. I didn't know if this was going to be good copyright stuff uh, when I get, when I post this on YouTube, but the music also really good. The ambient music, exceptionally well done. So yeah, big fan of this game. It's just one of those wholesome, emotional, single player campaign games that, you know, have a focus on story that in a very unique environment you just don't really see kind of stuff like this i would say if you could like games like journey if you ever played rhyme i was a big fan of rhyme when that game came out several years ago really emotional cool game like you know if you like rhyme that's probably like the the best comparison even though you're not like skating on water and things like that in rhyme but just from like an overall standpoint and presentation Yeah, so you play as this kid, and you don't really know what happened to your mom and then your grandma whenever you try to bring it up. It's like, no, oh, just shut up and let's just move on with our lives. But I got a feeling, if you can see in the, in the water there, that's how you can stand on the water. See that shadow below the surface? I'm pretty sure that's your mom or your mom telling you to do something. They kind of, like, give it away. Again, I'm kind of at, like, the end of the game here, but we will see. So now I have to skate over to that waypoint and use those sparks that I just collected to power a something sometimes I think a lighthouse of some kind to push that gloom away can I get up here I don't know there we go can I go this way let's see yeah there's no RPG abilities like you can't you don't get experience you don't level up or anything like that you can hit the select button and you get a map and the map's not too detailed. You can just kind of like zoom in, but it doesn't give you like anything specifically on the map. Like, hey, it, you know, you get the indicator of like go here, which is what that spark icon is. How do I get over there? I don't know if I can go that way. I might have to go around the long way. Let's find out. 
here comes the music. So it seems like whenever you're really kind of like traveling, like the music is like this dynamic sweeping score. Maybe I'll shut up for a minute just so you can kind of hear it, but it's really good. Yeah, you can buy stuff in that, that shirt icon. You collect gold, but you don't really need to because you just unlock shirts that just change your cosmetic appearance. doesn't have any effect on gameplay whatsoever. Alright, here's this thing where... Yeah, these are the, the coins, by the way. These, like, orange bouncing things. That's the game's currency. There we go. With all the spark energy you've gathered, it seems that we're ready to go. So then you get these War of the Worlds aliens that travel on top of the water. You have to Spider-Man latch onto them, and then you gotta hit them with your three-hit combo, and then they fall. It's not really that hard. Let's see if I can hit you right on one of these. So what's crazy is, like, here are these boats, and this happens throughout the whole game where they just take off. They're just like... Hey, we have to go there, bye, and then they just leave you, and you just have to follow them. They don't be like, hey, why don't you hitch a ride on the boat? And they kind of don't want you to because you can skate, and you can, you can see, like, there's, like, these roller coaster things there. They're kind of, like, acting as, like, boost pads and shortcuts. So it's still kind of fun just getting from point A to point B. And I just coincidentally happened to jump on this ship. I don't think really the game wants you to do that, but a little bit easier... I guess that way and I'm almost there at this point so yeah right before I started streaming I had to free these boats kind of work with these enemies if you will to kind of work together to save the land from the gloom All right, I guess I'll go forward yes yeah, so he kind of wants yeah that wants me off the boat stones and scrap parts from the area but they're placed with love um grandma is this where grandpa died granny we used to go to the pine forest here before the war you know every fall me and john to pick chanterelles i always made him cover his eyes for the last part of the way it was my secret mushroom place you see and he wasn't very good at keeping secrets he would have slipped and told someone if they asked. I'm sure of it. And now, he sleeps here. On a bed of chanterelles. Such unnecessary evil. We can't let this happen again. All right. Let's hope this works. Go. This place gives me the chills. 
it does that to you. This is where the final battle against the Dirty Paws took place. He paid a heavy price. Hope he finally took them down. know where we could find a spark reactor. One of those wrecks gotta have one in working condition. He's not gonna like this. Not fun to visit that man. Especially not impromptu ones. I brought a box of his favorite tea leaves. Hopefully enough for the trade. For what Treble said about the dirty paws, about the whistlers, I've never even heard that name. See, this is how you get around, is they want you to skate from hot point to hot point where you kind of, you know, it's like a roller coaster or crazy water slide. And then you could glide, and it always feels good. It's cool. I like this form of movement. I wish Link had this in the Wind Waker versus kind of getting on the boat and then getting on the sail and then getting the faster sail. It's very snappy. It's responsive. It feels right. It's cool. It's fun. You save the people from the gloom by whacking them with your net thing. Yeah, by the way, if you hit select, this is your diary and it keeps track of everything and you can kind of go back and forth and see maybe if you missed a few things here's like some of the people so i just have a few people left yeah i kind of missed some people because there's there's times when the game like wants you to explore a little bit but it gives you really no direction or like where things are so you kind of like left to explore this big land with no direction it's kind of not perfect but it's not bad either, by any means. Let's turn this thing on. Yeah, for the most part, it's linear. Like, you kind of, like, here's this level that's, you can really only go in the one direction. And let's see here. I always want to bust these gloom clouds because you never really know what's going to be underneath them. Gonna have 
to time my jump right. And you always want to follow. That's another cool thing is you can see where the electricity is going. You can just follow that path, that that wire. So it's another good way to indicate to the player along with these jumping orange currency globs. Big switch. Oh no. And then sometimes the camera. No, no, no. I don't want to follow all the way down. No. So that's a. That is one problem. That's happened to me before where you get to these things and the game wants you to climb vertically. And then as you climb vertically. Oh no. If you fall down, you kind of get screwed and you got to like do it all over again. Now, I'm not really sure where do I go? Not sure how I get up there. Oh, here we go. Jump pad. There we are. Yeah, these things. So I just got the journal entry, and then you kind of unlock. There's like one in each area. So it's a good way to keep track of every place in the game. Kind of just keeps a, a log of it. Okay, so here's the enemies. One, two, they're all two hit combos. Minus these big guys. Take like five or six hits. So yeah, not too much to the combat. This is one of the first times I've gotten hit. Oh yeah, and then these are the buttons that you jump and then you got a smash attack. Okay, somehow that just magically got put on the ship downstairs. Okay, that might be it. Just want to double check, make sure I didn't forget anything while I'm up here. And then we just do a big jump all the way down. Ah. So now there's the three generators. They get marked on your map. And I will go to this one because it seems to be the closest. If I don't get stuck on the environment. Let's go up here.
Yeah, so this is the, one of the parts of the game where it wants you to explore. It kind of gives you some freedom where if you do kind of go off the beaten path, like here is a, you know, here's like a, like you don't have to go to this little island, this, uh, you know, destroyed boat or whatever this might be. So, But sometimes you'll find people that might have a side quest on there for you where you can get more money to unlock more cosmetic shirts. Let's see what's over here. The enemy is stuck on the switch. Get off. Okay, there we go. Alright, so. Now I can go up this thing. Follow it around. Try again. Mm, no. Damn it. I don't know how you get up there. It's like you gotta use the momentum. It powered up. I don't know how to get up there. I'm I'm missing something. Uh, did I not hit all the switches? Seems like I did. All right, I don't know. I'm going to go to the next one. Maybe uh, maybe there's another switch that I need to hit over here. I don't know.
Oh, camera just changed all funkily. There we go, got that one. Okay. What's up with that weird glitch? Come on, make it. I don't know how you get over there. What has happened? Like, that's as fast as you can go. So if you hold the R trigger down, you can boost. And that's what I'm doing, but... Nothing to grapple to with the right tree. Something's wrong. Something's not right here. This is as fast as you can go. I don't get it. What am I... What's up with this? I think, like, something's... Not, like, this thing is supposed to swing, maybe? Move a little bit? Because it's just shy of the platform. Yeah, something's wrong. I don't know what this is. I don't know, I guess I'll end the stream here, because I have to figure this out, and I know this is really boring if you are watching this, because I don't know if this is a glitch or if I'm doing something wrong. Maybe if I end the stream, reload, try again, maybe something will 
move. Like, I think this thing is supposed to maybe, like, swing back and forth. I don't, I don't know. This is weird. Because that platform is about parallel with that platform that I jump on. And even though you got a pretty good leap... Yeah, I, like, I don't... I don't know what to do. So... Anyway, other than this weird jump, I was really liking this game up until this moment. So check out Wavetail, but again, maybe it's just a glitch or something. Or maybe I just gotta reload it and hope uh, something happens that way. But yeah, check out Wavetail, mygamer.com, squallsake.com, and on Twitter at Zach Gaz, Z A C K G A Z. And until next time, thank you for watching and game on.